Hello, happy 4th of July. It's uh, time for this week's Monday Book Talk. Um, I finally figured out how to get my computer to record video, so yay! Um, sorry, my, it's a little bit late. Um, please don't judge my kitchen too terribly much. The lighting is terrible, I know. Um, I'll try to get it done earlier in the day next time. But this week I read three books. The first one is called Magonia by Maria Headley. And it is a fantasy. It's about a girl named Aza Ray who has always been severely ill um, ever since she was a baby. They described it as like she's drowning in the air. Um, so like a severe, severe form of asthma she's been struggling with her entire life. Um, and as she reaches almost her 16th birthday, um, she, to her family, dies. Okay? Um, it's beginning of, towards the beginning of the book. Well, it turns out she does not actually die. She was actually a Magonian. So she was a member of a um, group of beings who live above the clouds. They have blue skin. Um, they exist on ships that are very interesting. Um, they have birds that can transform into humans and birds that cannot transform into humans. Um, there are bats who act as sails for the ships. Um, there's a lot of really cool stuff in this book. Um, one of the things they can do is they can control storms and elements and things through singing, but they don't just sing. They have like a little a little hole in their chest where a bird can fly in and sing with them. And it's like through this singing with these heart birds, they can um, perform magic. So there's a lot of interesting details about the world, um, its basis in mythology, um, the girl herself. Um, there are some parts where I'm just like, well, wow, she's really taking to this drastically different life um, very extremely quickly um, at times. But the way everything works out, it does have, there's a lot of action. Um, there's not a whole lot of romancy stuff in there. Um, she was starting before she died and, and went to her, her true home. She was starting to maybe have a little bit of feelings for um, one of her friends, or her only friend, really, her, her closest friend. Um, he, throughout the book, starts looking for her. Um, and I don't want to give away too much of the book for you, but it was a really interesting story. If you like really um, detailed, different sorts of fantasy, then you may enjoy this. It's part of the trilogy. I think only the first book is out right now, so you'll have to wait for the rest of it if you decide to read it. Um, the second one I read is called The Steep and Thorny Way. I apologize, you can't see it real good. Um, by Kat Winters. Um, I've read two of her other books. Um... The Cure for Dreaming and Shadow of Blackbirds, both of them, all of her books so far are historical fiction. This one is set in the 1920s, I believe, yes, 1920s in Oregon, and it follows the story of Hannah Lee, who is the daughter of a white woman and a black man, which at that time period was extremely um, controversial. Um, before the story opens, her father was killed, and... This young man hit him with his car and then was sent to jail for hitting him with his car. And it's been a year ago. And now that man is out of jail. And Hannah Lee is finding out that there's a lot more to the story than just her dad was hit by a car. There's a whole lot of stuff going on. Um, it talks a lot about bootlegging, about um, eugenics, which was the process of sterilizing so-called undesirables so that they would not be able to reproduce. Um, they're, they talk about interracial marriages, laws against that, um, spiritualism a little bit. Um, it says that it's a retelling of Hamlet. I didn't really try to focus too much on that particular detail as to how closely it follows or anything like that. Um, there's a ghost. There's a, a suspicion against the her mother's husband. Um, there's some talk about the, the KKK and its involvement in the eugenics movement and um, targeting of African Americans and uh, Catholics and Jewish people and stuff in Oregon during that time. Um, but it's a very interesting story if you like 
that time period or if you like mysteries or ghost stories, um, I would definitely recommend it. I love all of Cat Winter's books. They're great. Um, and this one, both Magonia and The Stephen Thorny Way will be available in our library when we get back in the fall. Last book that I read, I just finished this. That's part of why this, this video is so late because I just finished this like a minute ago. It's called Unbecoming. And it is by Jenny Downham. And I've not read any of her other books. I got this from the public library, by the way. So I'll be returning it soon. So you can go check it out. I'll probably buy it for East as well. Great story. Um, it is emotional. It is a story of three generations of women um, and their, their complicated relationship with each other. Um, it shows you right here on the front. You've got Mary. Mary, who is the grandmother. Um, Caroline, her daughter, and then her daughter, um, Katie, okay? And at the beginning of the story, Mary comes to live with Caroline, who she's not spoken to in many, many years, because the man that Caroline, or man, the man that Mary was living with has passed away, okay? Um, Mary has Alzheimer's. She does not recognize her daughter. She does not recognize her granddaughter. She doesn't know what's going on. She doesn't know uh, very much. Um, she has a hard time remembering things that just happened, but she has some memories that are very vivid of her past, and Katie really starts to develop a close relationship with her grandmother, um, as well as learns things about her mother, learns things about her mother's, um, her mother's childhood, while she is discovering things about herself as well. Um, like I said, very emotional, um, really got to me a, a lot. So it, it would probably touch most deeply women, um, mothers, daughters, um, in, in difficult relationships or anybody dealing with um, a relative that's going through Alzheimer's and how difficult that is. But it's set in England, so there's a lot of little British slang and stuff like that too. But very, I would definitely encourage people to read it. It was a great story. Um, also, and I haven't mentioned in my other videos that I've been reading Harry Potter with my son at night. We are halfway through Prisoner of Azkaban now. Um, he's finally ready to read these books, and it's funny to read them with him because he just gets so enraged at people that are mean to Harry and um, really wants to just kind of beat them all up <laughs> at this point. Um, but it's fun. It's fun to read those. I read them all um, last summer. I think I read all, all the books in the Harry Potter series. I'd read the first two, I've read the first three before, but I reread them and then read the rest of the series. So he's got a lot in store um, and hopefully he'll keep wanting to read them. But as always, I'd love to hear what you guys are reading. So let us know. Hashtag Canes Read. Um, follow us on Instagram or Twitter at MHHSE Library. And I'll see you all soon.